friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. Today I have an empties video for you guys. This is gonna be trash talk number three, I think. Yes? Yes. I have a big bag full of shit that I've been wanting to unload onto you guys for quite a minute now, so yeah. I love doing empties videos. I love showing you guys the things that I've used up, giving you like mini reviews on things I enjoyed, didn't enjoy, etc. So if you'd like to see what is in my big bag of trash, then just keep on watching because I'm going to show you. The first thing that I have in here is a soft soap hand soap. This was just in my bathroom. It's fine. It smelled nice. For hand soap, I kind of just use, like I just like buy like whatever's at the store, you know? And this just so happened to be where I was shopping. Right now I'm using the Myers. Oh, I just got soap on my face. Right now I'm using the Myers brand of hand soap, which I think you can find at Target. And the scent that I'm using right now, I think is like honeysuckle. Hand soap is hand soap. Lavender Fix Plus, which is my favorite Fix Plus scent of all time. I've gone through like a ton of these. I'm gonna continue to go through like a ton of these. I'm out right now, obviously I don't have any Fix Plus. I've just been using, oh shoot my Cover FX Illuminating Spray, and this one, we're getting to the bottom also, so. This is my Kat Von D Locket Powder. This was given to me by my coworker, Susie. It's just the transparent one. I love, love, love this stuff. I think this is such a good loose translucent powder, and I really don't like most loose translucent powders. I like the Hourglass one, I've been using that one for quite a bit now, but this one I also really enjoy. It's definitely cheaper than the Hourglass one. I feel like you get a lot of product in here. It took me forever to use up, but I no longer support Kat Von D, and I don't really spend money with her brand anymore, although I do have a lot of her older items. Uh, but yeah, really, really good powder. I really, really enjoy this one, and despite me not <clears throat> supporting Kat Von D anymore, I do still stand by this powder and I think it's really great. Next, I have a Woodwick candle. This one is the, which one is this one? Oh, the White Teak, it says like on the front. These are the ones with like the wooden wicks, which is why they're called Woodwicks. So they make like a crackling noise as they burn, which I really like. It like feels nice and cozy, like it sounds really nice. It reminds you of like sitting up by a fire, which is kind of cool. Except for when I'm trying to film, which I usually like to light candles when I'm filming. It's a little bit louder, more distracting. I like these, but these also contain paraffin wax, which is produces like really bad air quality, so I probably won't be buying these anymore along with the Bath and Body Works candles, which I really like, but it is what it is. Soy wax candles only now, man. Next I have the MAC Moisture Infusion. I've gone, again, through a ton of these. I have like a half full one right here, and I have a full one right here. It's my favorite moisturizing serum. I use it morning and night. Great, great product. I continue to stand by this, and pretty much every time that I order stuff from MAC, I always get myself one of these. Next, I have the Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Water Deodorant with the lavender cap on it because the lavender cap is broken. So like I, I did a little switcheroony. I, I mean, I don't really love the scent of this one. I thought it was okay, nice and fresh, but mixed with the smell of BO, not, not so pleasant. This one I found actually did work really, really well at deodorizing my armpits and keeping me smelling fresh. But the lavender one that I switched to, I get sweaty so easily throughout the day now. I don't know why that is, but like I can put deodorant on and then an hour later I smell like BO, which I don't like. I wear deodorant for a purpose and that is so I don't smell like sweat. And it makes me sad because I really like using like natural deodorants, but they just like, they just like don't really protect my armpits as much. You know what I mean? Like they just... The next product I have is the Tony Moly I'm Avocado Sheet Mask. Nice and hydrating. I really like this one. I like pretty much all of them. I've never used any of like the pore shrinking ones or the more mattifying ones because I don't need those necessarily. I go for more like hydrating ones. This was nice and I also have the I'm Rose one which is vitalizing. This one deeply nourishes tired skin and this one provides revitalizing energy to tired skin. Oh, they're the same thing. Anyways, both really great. I love the Tony Moly masks. I think that they are so fun to use and I do like the way that they make my skin feel. So 
I have like a whole box full of Tony Moly masks in my bathroom that I just kind of like occasionally will like pop one on on like a Sunday night, you know what I mean? Next I have the Aveeno Positively Nourishing Calming Body Wash. This one is in lavender, chamomile, and Lang Lang, which was nice. I really like the Aveeno body washes. They are super moisturizing. I'm using a different one right now. I think it's Dove. I've been breaking out really bad from eczema. My eczema has gotten super duper terrible. So I have not been actually using any scented body washes. Right now I'm also using the Vanna Cream Bar Soap, which I don't love bar soaps for body wash, but you gotta do what you gotta do, man. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I can't wait until the day where I am able to use like scented body washes again. I don't know when that's gonna be. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Next I have a thing of hydrocortisone cream. I go through so many of these. I don't know how, I don't know why. I do know why, I do know how. It's cause of my eczema. What am I talking about? I switched to using just Vanna cream alone instead of hydrocortisone cream. It does help with itch relief, but it doesn't help as much with moisture. Whereas Vanna cream helps with moisture and itch relief. So I pretty much just switched to using only Vanna cream. Next I have the Ion Sensitive Scalp. This is a 20 volume developer. I use this to bleach my hair, which I have toned recently. As you can tell, it's more silver. It's not quite where I want it to be. Again, I still have some more work to do with my hair color, but me and my best friend Cameron, who I think I've mentioned like a million times, uh, the both of us, we bleached my hair with our other friend, Diana, who was big help, love her. I have, I think I still have some of the 10 volume developer in my bathroom too. I just kind of bought both, just being like, I don't know, whichever one works, because I know nothing about doing hair. Next, I have the Neutrogena makeup wipes, the regular wipes. I used to not really care for these. I don't know if I've talked about this before. I used to not really care for these, but I actually do really like these now. They have a lot of moisture to them, which I really like. You use a lot less wipes than, you know, more of like a drier wipe. Like the Burt's Bees wipes I've used before. Fuck those guys. Those guys are so dry. They're like literally just like cotton cloths. Like how is that supposed to take off your makeup? Also really great for cleaning up the under eyes when I do little boo-boos and get eyeshadow fallout everywhere, which happens pretty frequently. Then I have the Origins High Potency Night Amends. I haven't repurchased it yet, but I love this. It's a really nice night cream, super duper thick, great for the winter time because it is so dry and it smells like a creamsicle. Um, this one also has AHAs in it, so I will use it alternating between like different nights. So one night I'll just do like regular moisturizer with the CEO Glow from Sunday Riley. And then the other night I'll pop this guy on just cause I don't want, you know, too many chemicals all at once. But I really like this stuff. I don't know how great it is at like clearing up any dark spots or acne scarring or whatever, you know, with the AHAs, but I still really like it. I love the feeling that it gives my skin. And once I have like a little extra money, which is like not right now, I'm probably gonna repurchase. Then I have a little baggie of the textured cotton rounds from Walgreens. I just use like one, oop, I just hit myself in the face. I just use like one a night, you know, when I'm using my toner. I do wanna switch to using reusable ones because they're not super environmentally friendly. I just like haven't got them from Amazon yet, you know? Like I'm going to, I just haven't yet. But they're nice. They, you know, they get the job done. Next I have the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I really like this. I get like the smaller bottles. These are like 15 or 16 bucks. I have another one in my shower right now. I really like this cleanser. It's super duper soft and super duper gentle. It just like really gently foams up, um, which I really like because I do like that, you know, the soapy texture. I don't know. Before this I was using, I don't know if it's in here, but before this I was using the, not Belief, the Laneige Multi Cleanser. I really like that one too. It's a little bit more exfoliating, which is very nice, but this one is just so gentle. And I've really been liking that on my skin a little bit more. I just love a really good, like soft, just gentle cleanse. Then I have a tub of the R&B Moisturizer, the Hair Moisturizer from Lush. I love this stuff. First of all, it smells amazing. It kind of smells like a hippie, which I love because I love those like patchouli, like incense type of smells. It feels really soft in the hair, it's super duper like moisturizing, but it's a little bit more on like the heavy side, which I don't like. So it does kind of weigh my hair down a little bit, but it really does smell so, so nice. It smells so nice to where I'm thinking of, cause I switched to using a different one right now. I'm using the Amica, it's a leave-in hair conditioner. I'm thinking of switching back to this one when I'm done with that one, just cause like, 
The scent alone makes me really like it. Again, it is more moisturizing on the hair, which I do like. It's just like kind of heavy, which I don't like. But all in all, like a good product would repurchase. Next, I have an actual makeup product, which I don't really get a lot of, but this is the Soft and Gentle Highlight from MAC, the Mineralized Skin Finish. I have, I pretty much use this in almost every video. I'm sure if you see my videos, my tutorials, you probably know this. I have a full brand new one right here, so obviously I repurchased it. I just love like the champagne, like reflective color that it is. It's not too dark, it's not too bright. It's just really nice and almost like glossy looking on the skin, which obviously I love. This is seriously my favorite highlight of all, all time. Next I have two packets of the Malibu Direct dye lifter so this is not a bleach it is a hair color lifter but malibu is more like hydrating than most bleaches are i've used actually three packets of these to continuously get my hair light enough to the point where i was able to i don't want to say I, like i wasn't able to put color in it i had to bleach it like bleach bleach it like once more but it was able to really lift my hair of some of the disgusting teal color that i put in it a couple months ago you know, like, I mean, it, they did the job, which was great. Two MAC lash cases. I have a pair of 75s and a pair of 35s, which are some of my favorite lash styles. Save your lash cases. You can back to MAC them for a free lipstick or lip gloss or an eyeshadow if you're at a freestanding store. Next, I have the MAC strobe cream. Again, this is an everyday staple. I have another one right here. These are the peach lights. However, the little sticker, the color has rubbed off entirely because I put this in my to-go bag every time I go somewhere. This is my everyday morning moisturizer. I love the glow that it adds. It looks so good on the skin, just makes it look really nice and plump. Yeah, I love this moisturizer. Good for any skin type. I just, I really just use it because I love the way it makes my skin look. Next, I have another thing of hydrocortisone cream. In here, I have the Ollie Perfect Women's Multivitamins. I have another one of these that I've been using. They're vitamins, you know, they're like okay. I don't love the way that they taste because they kind of taste like a little bit like apple cider vinegar. And since going vegan, I didn't realize that these have gelatin in them, but they do. And I still have another bottle that I'm going through, so like, if you know any really good tasting vegan vitamins, let me know. These are great, they have B12, D3E, B6, FA, and uh, biotin, 125% biotin, which I needed for like hair strength and nail strength, but I don't know, because it has gelatin in it, if I want to continue to use them or not, I just don't know. So again, if you know of any like really good, delicious, like vegan vitamins, let me know that have biotin in them. Let me know. Next, I have the Viral Pastel Lavender Color Wash. This got my hair so purple. If you are looking for hair color that isn't super duper long lasting and you know, really, really easy to use. The viral hair colors, so, so good. It's just a kind of uh, like overtone hair colors. Yeah, it does the same thing. You just put it in your hair when you're shampooing, leave it in for a little bit and it literally colors your hair. It doesn't last super long, which is good if you do like to kind of switch it up every now and then, but it literally, like it just colors your hair. So yeah, highly recommend these. I have a silver one in my shower right now. It made my hair a little bit more blue than anything, but that's okay. I have another one of the um, Tony Moly mask sheets. This is the hydrating coconut one. Coconut mask helps to keep skin hydrated. Again, it was nice. I liked it, made my skin feel soft. I have another pack of the Neutrogena wipes. Then I have a box of the Ardell Wispies, the Demi Wispies. I use these in my freelance kit a lot. They add a little bit of flair without being too dramatic. Most clients, when I'm doing makeup on them, especially wedding makeup, don't want like big fat lashes like these mofos. These ones are the number 126 from Ilore. The definition lashes, I like these ones. But yeah, these ones are really good lashes. Super duper great for more like natural makeup. They're a little bit fluffy without being too crazy. Uh, clients love these, so highly recommend. Next, I have the MAC Cleanse Off Oil Tranquil. This is like the second or third one that I've used before. I really did like this. It's a great oil cleanser. The only thing is I'm pretty sure that MAC either is in the process of discontinuing these or has discontinued them. And despite me really liking this product, I actually really like the Kiehl's one even more. I've been using that one for a little bit now. It takes my makeup off like 
nobody's business. It smells really good. It feels really good on the skin. The only thing I don't like about oil cleansers is that they do get in my eyes and blind me for about like three minutes or so. But you know, they take your makeup off super well. I can't believe I have another moisture infusion in here. I don't know how quickly it took me to get through these, but like, damn. In here, I have a waterproof mascara. This is the In Extreme Dimension Waterproof Mascara from MAC. Great mascara. I love how voluminous this makes your lashes look and it is super duper waterproof. My biggest issue is I have mascara transfer a lot down here, so I always have to wear mascara or waterproof mascara either on the bottom lashes or just a light coat over the top lashes. I wear this with lashes by itself, top and bottom. I just love this so much because it holds a curl really well, it's waterproof, and I never get mascara transfer on the bottom. I get so, so tired of looking in the mirror happy throughout the day at work and seeing mascara dots just all over the bottom here. I remember the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara was like the worst offender. I would get not only like little black dots underneath my eyes, but also just all over my cheeks too. So this mascara is so great. I am a really big believer in waterproof mascaras and I know that some people don't like them because they're harder to take off, but that's what oil cleansers are for. That's what oil cleansers are for. Then I have the Fix Plus Mini. This is the watermelon scent. It smelled like a Jolly Rancher. I have the peony one in my bag right now. My favorite one was the white tea. Just smelled really nice and fresh. There's also a pineapple one too. I feel like these two are just kind of too sweet for me. The lavender is nice because it's very calming, but I don't really love like sweet scented sprays on my face. I feel like that's just too much. And the watermelon scent smelled just like a Jolly Rancher. So if you're into that, like cool, good on you girl, but it was just like way too sweet for me. Speaking of Fix Plus, this one is the coconut. Fix Plus this is the full size. The coconut's nice. It is a little bit more on the sweet side without it being like overly sweet, but this is almost like watermelon, or not watermelon, lavender, where it is nicely scented without it being too strong. I have another hydrocortisone cream. This is like the intense healing one. It's just like a little mini guy. In here I have another makeup product. I actually, I feel like I've got a few makeup products here, but this is the Studio Fix Concealer, the 24 hour wear. This is in the shade NC15. This is such a good concealer. I really, really like these. They are nice and full coverage. They look almost skin-like, which I really like. They blend super duper beautifully, and they're full coverage enough to use as spot concealers and under eye concealers. Whereas if you know me, then you know I usually use this for spot concealing, but this is great because you can do both with it. I have the shade NC10 right here. I like to use this one to highlight a lot, but NC15 is just a really good shade for me, personally and I'm running out of my two base concealer so I'm gonna have to get another one of these pretty soon. Next I have the Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Lotion with Aloe. This I was using for a little bit in conjunction with the Hydrocortisone Cream. It's nice but it, def it definitely doesn't give me as much moisture as Vanna Cream does. Like literally nothing does so I'm just gonna stick with using that one. But it's a really great hand lotion. Super duper nice if you've got dry hands. Next, I have two Mahogany and Teakwood Wallflower Wall Plugins. This is my favorite scent that Bath & Body Works has ever come out with. I don't use these anymore because plugins, things like this, are really, really bad for animals, and I love my cat way too much for my room to smell nice, so the things we do for love. I have two brow pencils in here. I have the ABH Brow Wiz in medium brown, and I have the MAC Brow Styler in lingering. At one point, this was my shade. It's definitely too dark for me now, but these are really similar brow pencils. They both are retractable. They have a spoolie on each end. Lingering is my current shade. It's what goes with my roots the best. I don't love brow pencils like these. The old MAC brow pencils used to be so much softer, which I like even more, because I feel like these are really, really waxy, and you really have to like like go in for it to really make a mark on my eyebrows. But most brow pencils are like this and obviously the MAC one I get a percentage off on. So I typically just stick with these. But the ABH Brow Wiz I've also used several times before. Works really well. I mean, they're brow pencils. In here I have a fragrance which literally never happens. I never use up perfumes, but this is the YSL Montpery fragrance. This one I, uh is so good. It's a little sweet, but mostly like floral, which I love, but not like rose floral, more like, like a fresh garden kind of floral, you know? It's like sweet, floral, fresh, like all together. I don't know like what the actual notes are, but I know that I really like the way that this one smells. I will repurchase at some point when I have 
like extra cash to spend because it's a great scent. I got this one for free when I was working at a different cosmetics counter. This, I don't know if you've ever like smelled a scent and it brought you back to a certain time. This one specifically brings me back to fall of 2017. Like the end of summer, beginning of fall, like just as the leaves are starting to get a little yellow. Next, I have the Brush Stroke Liner in Brush Black, another makeup product. Yeah, this one is dried up, holy shit. And the, you definitely can't see, but the little hairs are starting to kind of splay. That's when you know that your eyeliner is going bad, is when the hairs start to kind of bloop, bloop, bloop. This is my favorite liquid liner that I've ever owned. I don't know of any better liquid liner than this one. I am currently using the Dual Dare from MAC. That one's a felt tip, this one is the brush tip. I just prefer these so much more. Both MAC pencils, or pens I should say. I prefer this one so much more, just because I feel like I get a lot more control with it. It's super duper black, and it's just a really great overall like eyeliner. Lasts a long time, I just can create such a good wing with it. Whereas the Dual Dare, I don't love. I don't like felt tip pens. I don't feel like it stays on super long. I don't feel like I can get a good wing with it and I feel like as I go in to draw it just dries out so quick and I have to end up like you know applying some to the back of my hand and then going back in and then doing the same thing over again. But this one I don't feel like I have to do that with. It's really nice. Super duper pigmented. Super black. Love this. Forever and always. Next I have the MAC lip conditioner. This one is just a really nice lip balm. It has jojoba oil in it. It has shea butter and a bunch of other really nice moisturizing oils in it. My boyfriend really likes it because I gave him one too. I have like a ton of lip balms so I'm not repurchasing this one just because I have so many that I have to go through but at some point I probably will again just because it's a really good lip balm and I like the way it feels. My clients really like it because I use it in makeovers and stuff so then I have the this is a mini version of the caution mascara from Hourglass which I do have right here. I love this mascara. I love the wand. It's really nice and kind of skinny um, so it really does like get into the lashes, creates really beautiful length and separation. I really like the way it makes my lashes look. It's nice and long lasting too. I don't find that I get too much down here, but I, again, like I don't really set my face a whole lot. So no matter what, I'm gonna get a little bit of transfer with every mascara that I use, hence the waterproof mascara. But regardless, this is a great mascara. Like I really like this. The only downside is that it's like 28 bucks, which to me, that's really expensive for a mascara, but such a good one like such a good mascara the last thing that I have in here is the drunk elephant B Hydra intense hydration serum and I'm gonna be honest I don't really remember the way that I felt about this I got it in an Allure beauty box wait no I didn't I got it from Sephora I got like a little like drunk elephant set it must have been like a birthday gift or something I just don't remember how I felt about it obviously I use another hydrating serum which is why there's like two empty ones in this bag so I can't really say whether or not I'd repurchase because I just don't remember anyways that is it for my empties I really hope that you liked this video if you did don't forget to give it a like and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more of me all of my links will be down below so Instagram Twitter snapchat and tumblr will all be down there. Thank you guys again so much for watching me talk about my trash. I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to go out and vote. Goodbye.